doing a look on this Ariana Grande 34 plus 35 um, makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this and let's get started. I'm back. So today I'm doing a Ariana Grande inspired look. Hence why I am half up, half down. Excuse my my greasy looking hair I literally just washed it the other day and I think it's because um I tried a new product that I haven't used in a while that my hairdresser gave me a while back and when I first went blonde and I think I put too much into it and it made my hair all oily so I'm gonna have to wash it again tonight but I wanted to get this tutorial up before I um, started to, um, whatchamacallit, before it's too late. But yes, today I'm doing the Ariana Grande 34 plus 35 makeup tutorial. It's a really cool look, so I figured I'd show you guys. And yes, this is a rare occasion. You're seeing me doing brows on camera, but this might be a quick tutorial, so... You know, gotta add some content there. And because, like, people want to see how I do my brows, I really don't have no technique to them or, like, a specific way to do them. I just film in the sparse areas and that's it. Like, I don't go, I don't really do my whole brow, really. I just do my, like, sparse areas. Like, because I have naturally, like, thicker, dark brows. So I don't really need to fill in a lot, just where it's sparse. So I only do like the end and then like my front and then I'm good. Like I don't really have to fill in the middle, even though you're supposed to, but I don't. Because I'm like, there's so much hair there that what's the point, you know? Like it looks like it'd be too much. I don't know, it's my personal preference. Everybody has a different preference though, so... I, I say there's no rules really to make up that much because I feel like if it works for you and if it looks good then why try to change how you do things you know but yeah so we just got done doing brows super easy super quick so now I'm gonna prime I'm gonna so now we're all primed and ready to go so I am now taking my Fenty and I am putting that on my lid and making sure we are all up in place. And then I like to get a brush and wipe it and spread it evenly so there's like no harshness to it. Okay, so the look is like really simple. Let me pull it up again just to make sure I'm not like missing any details because your girl wants to do this exact. Okay, yeah, so she just really there. I want to probably try to put the picture on here on the screen, but there's no detail really. Um, very neutral, very matte. It's all about the eyeliner for this look. So what I'm gonna do is take my Maddie, my Maddie Ziegler palette, and just get the Butterfly Fantasy and put that on my eye, and just just to give it some color. Like even though she has like matte, it's all matte. I just want to give it like a little bit of color, and just to make the other shadows stand out. Like so. And then I'm going to take just my Swiss chocolate um, by MAC because I think this is the closest eyeshadow I can get from, um, from her look. So I think it's like what's closest to her look. So I'm just going to put that on my eye. And she doesn't take it all the way in, or if she does, it's very light. So I think I'm just going to, like, I don't know. I might take it all the way in just to give it that pizzazz, but we'll see. Like, she just mainly focuses it on the outer 
part of her and she has it really close to her actual brow like that actually matches so good like once I build it up more it's gonna match so good and then I think I might just do like a light coating like in my crease just to give it a little definition but like not much okay so yeah and then now I'm gonna just focus it on the outer and kind of build it up more to where um to how she has it like because it's like kind of darker I feel like than this a little bit but not much and then I'm just gonna blend it out but I really need to focus on the outer corner which I think it's looking pretty good like I said this is not a hard look at all it's just really just knowing your placement of things and how to lay it down the right way so yeah like that's pretty good like I don't want to do too much because then I feel like it'll get all messed up so I'm just gonna fan it out though a little bit like to give it like a fanned out look like okay perfect yeah perfect 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 sorry i don't know why i do that i don't know it's like a nervous habit or like a ticking i don't know i don't know why i do that so sorry if it bothers you guys but i am gonna add a little pizzazz and at least do my inner corner like have a pop of shadow like shimmery shadow because i feel like queen my queen ari is missing out on that like she's my queen like i am obsessed with her i love her anyone who knows me knows my obsession like i love her she's my queen she is i wish i could meet this i wish i could meet her i think i'm gonna take angel too and just like yeah i'm taking angel i actually like angel better so i mixed virgin and um angel from urban decay's palette yeah, this definitely gave it a pizzazz, so I'm digging it. Okay, now on to the tricky part. This is where it can get a little bit tricky. So I am going to do a wing eyeliner. Let me see how thick she, she does do thicker eyeliner, which I haven't done a thick, like, black wing in a while. So, yeah, so we're just going to, like, I'm going to try to do this to the best of my ability on camera. I never usually do my eyeliner on camera because it's really hard. Because I have to stare on it head on. Because as you guys know, I don't have good eyes to begin with. So. And yes, unfortunately, I have to be very silent for this part. Check it out, see where we're going. Okay. And let me try it again. This involves a lot of concentration on my end. And let me check her picture again. I'm gonna have to go back and forth in checking her picture. Okay, so she brings it up a little bit, so I'm gonna have to bring it up a little bit more. She kind of has it like really thick and then like a thin line. So I'm going to try to do that. And she has it up more. Okay, so even after so many years of me doing winged liner, I still mess up sometimes and still need to go back and fix it. So I'm going to go grab some wake up wipes and wipe it. Anyone who knows me knows like I'm like psycho when it comes to my eyeliner. Like I am such a perfectionist. So, it's, like, kind of annoying to deal with me when it comes to eyeliner, because, girl, if that's one way you want to see me get mad fast, it's eyeliner. And also, I think I am going to build this up a little bit, and then mix one shade in the Maddie Ziegler palette, like, yeah. And then, because 
it looks a little bit darker in the thing than I thought it was so I just want to make sure I'm gathering the right shades and like I said I'm really focusing that out on the outer and then blending that like so okay so that's a little bit better okay so digging it okay so back on eyeliner subjects so all right so I'm back and I'm taking my NYX white blank eyeliner and putting that on my eye now I'm going to be very careful with this because I've never did this type of eyeliner before let alone this kind of liquid eyeliner so let me just look at what she does and how oh my gosh why is my phone being so stupid okay so she goes around and then she really goes thick at the end so I might just have to keep on staring at it for reference I don't know how much you guys are gonna need I mean, going to see this because I very well might need to have this um, head on. to the makeup gods right now because this is the trickiest part of the tutorial and then whatever I mess up like if I get rid of too much black we could always go back and fix the black here but don't worry I'm gonna fix that all and then now, this is the part where I'm going to have to look at her eyeliner. So she goes up her wing. She goes up the wing and then into the... Okay. I see you. I see you, Ariana, and your makeup artist. I see you guys. But I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> does go thicker okay this eyeliner is running out so that's great it's like getting it all dried out okay so. Perfect. And now I'm going to go off camera and just fix whatever I don't like. And then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, we're back. It's not as easy as I think thought it was, but I think sis snapped. Now, don't mind. I don't know if you can tell, but like for some reason my eyeliner is drying. Like my liquid white liner is drying, like really cracking stuff. But I don't think you could see it on camera that much but I don't know why it's not smooth or anything it's it's kind of old but far away it looks good and I'm hoping in my TikTok it will look good um and people won't notice if anything I'll just have to put a filter on but yeah so now I'm going to put on my lash something I never do on camera either but I want to make sure I have enough footage so now I'm just going to be grabbing this eyeliner, I mean not eyeliner, lash glue, and getting it open, and applying, I think the closest lashes that I have are my Demi Wispies, because I feel like my mink lashes are too much for Ariana, like it just looks too much, so... Like, it doesn't look like they're, like, too pointed. Like, these are more wispy, like, how her lashes are. 
so I don't want to like yeah she definitely doesn't have mink lashes on and I do have like mink lashes on so like I just didn't want to um you know I didn't want to put on mink lashes but my only thing is her lashes do seem thicker so I'm almost wondering if the mink lashes would have looked better but I don't think those are the minks would look too dramatic but let's glue down and I have no specific way of doing these I just my main goal is just to get these lashes on And then I move them around a bit. And I just like press them down. I lift them up, make sure the band is attached, and ba bam, you got some lashes on. In action, um, uh, this lash looks wonky. Story of my life. My beginning my first two lashes like decided to stick and curl into them it's hard to explain so now this one is looking but it's okay but this left side she's a little rough this right side she's cute so i did the best i could it's not the easiest i am no pro so don't at me i'm no pro don't come at me <laughs> like they're way better people that have done this look but it's okay i still had fun and i'm proud of myself because honestly i didn't think i was gonna even be able to pull it off and i wasn't even sure if i was gonna be able to post it because i thought man i don't got those kind of skills but the makeup gods pulled through and it actually turned out a lot better than i expected and i tried my best and it was fun so why not post it people take things too deep and post what you want like so now I'm just contouring like she she does some heavy contouring so that's kind of what I'm going for so if it looks like I'm doing way too much I'm sorry I'm just trying to make this as close as my queen as possible Alright, so I'm back and I am whipping my bake off. I put some eyeliner on the bottom to give me like some more definition. And now I am just going to do the lips. So she does, she has like a rosy, unique rosy color. So I have a couple options that I'm going to swatch. It's going to be close between, um... I think this one might be it. Yeah, that's like really close. And then I'm just going to gloss it with Fenty. So I'm taking the Kylie Jenner 20 Lip Liner. Which is surprisingly, because I think I used this in my last tutorial. So. And then I'm going to take the Fenty um, lip gloss. I think this is called Flower Bomb or something like that. Uh, Fenty Gloss Bomb. I knew it was something. And then I'm just going to put that on my lips. 
And that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I explained it good enough. If you're having a hard time doing this, don't worry. I did too. So we're in the same boat, sis. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below and click the notification bell to get notified every time I post a video here on YouTube. And go follow my beauty Instagram at underscore Haley's Beauty underscore. And go follow me on TikTok, Haley's Beauty with uh, two eyes. And then um, go check out my blog post, um, www.haleysbeauty.com with two eyes at the end of beauty. But I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.